Well, it was another busy weekend up at the site of the Francis Scott Key Bridge Collapse up in Baltimore, Maryland, where the Chesapeake 1000 crane was hauling off another piece. This one was a little bit smaller of a bridge truss section than it had pulled up in the previous few days. But it's still a pretty large section nonetheless. And look how this time they have the stern end of the Chesapeake 1000 is is much lower in the water. That's from the ballasting. So they have to balance it to to help offset the weight of that truss that they are moving around there. And it is pretty amazing, too, when you see them just carry this load by barge on the crane hanging like that all the way to Sparrow's Point. It amazes a lot of people. They didn't think that you could do that, but yeah, it's possible. But you just have to make sure that 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 load is stable, that it's not swinging left and right. That's a crane operator's worst nightmare to have a swinging load because that throws off all your calculations and it could topple the crane as well. And feast your eyes on this humongous piece of equipment, folks. And take a look, there's a longshoreman standing right underneath this thing. This is a massive, absolutely humongous, 200-ton hydraulic salvage grab. That's got to be the biggest single grab I've ever seen. But this here just ended a week-long journey from Galveston, Texas on a barge. So it took them a week to get it up here. And it's sitting at Sparrow's Point. And this thing has a 1,000 metric ton capacity. This will be used to recover massive portions of that Francis Scott Key Bridge collapse. All of those bridge trusses there. What I don't know is, does this have the capability to cut through it? Like, can it just bite right through it and tear off a piece like a, like a T-Rex? So that's what we're all waiting to see. And by the way, this same grab had picked up 20 cars at a time during the MV Golden Ray salvage. So the, the MV Golden Rage was a boat that had capsized back in 2019 off the coast of Georgia, and it had uh, 4,200 cars on there as well. It's hard to imagine. I mean, I know this is big, but it just I don't see how it can hold 20 cars in there, but that's what they had said that it did. So, man, pretty incredible. I've got to get me one of those. i got to see how much these are going for on Amazon. So I wanted to show you this picture that was released this morning by the Army Corps of Engineers. Now this is taken off of the last section of the roadway right before the bridge fell overlooking the dally. Now this right here is the sliding finger expansion joint. So this of course is a good breaking point for a bridge to fall apart if that's where it's going to happen is right there. And if you saw my video on Friday night where I showed you the what I thought was maybe an FBI comms truck and we weren't sure what they were doing, that truck is parked about 20 feet away from here, a little bit over to the right and probably a little bit back behind where the cameraman was standing. Now here, they were trying to get pictures of the, the containers to show us how many containers have been removed off of the dally so far. I think the photographer here might have made a slight goof because it appears to me the focus looks more like it was set here. So he may have had the little, there's like a little cursor on their screen that could be down here and focus here. Or if you have a full screen focus set on your camera, sometimes it can get tricked when it sees these near objects like this and it will tend to focus here rather than over here. Because when you look at the containers, they're very blurry. And normally these pictures supplied by the Army Corps of Engineers are super high resolution. And you can usually zoom in pretty close to them to see objects of pretty good detail. But anyway, right here you can see this is where they've cleared out a lot of the containers over the past week. So this area right here on the deck, these were stacked all the way up before. And so they removed a lot of them and they removed some that were here and some that were leaning already. These are still here. Here's another good example of a sliding finger joint. This is an expansion joint on the Verrazano Bridge up in New York. And here's another example of a functioning sliding finger expansion joint on a small bridge somewhere. And so here we can see even at a, just about 6 p.m. this evening, the Chesapeake 1000 crane right here on the barge is still attached to this bridge truss where it has been sitting like this for a couple of days and I don't know what's going on or if they're having too much trouble pulling this thing up or if they're or if they need to dredge down a little bit more and get some things out of the way but it has been just sitting like this for two solid days now
And you know the operators of the Chesapeake 1000 don't want to have that. you got to keep moving, get the stuff going, get it out of here, because they have a lot of work ahead of them. And as of about 7.15 or so this evening, they still hadn't gotten it out of the water, but I did see it go up a little while ago. They were rising it. They were raising it up here, but I don't know why they haven't pulled it up out of the water. They might still be having problems with it. And to be working on it this late in the day where darkness is about to roll in on them, I was surprised they even bothered to pull it up out of the water at that point. And as of about 7.15 or so this evening, they still hadn't gotten it out of the water, but I did see it go up a little while ago. They were rising it. They were raising it up here, but I don't know why they haven't pulled it up out of the water. They might still be having problems with it. And to be working on it this late in the day where darkness is about to roll in on them, I was surprised they even bothered to pull it up out of the water at that point. Now here's a picture they showed us from yesterday where the Chesapeake 1000 was trying to attach onto that bridge truss right there and to pull it up. But they had a really hard time. I mean, Chesapeake 1000 made its match yesterday. In fact, we even saw a cut beam fall off of it and splash yesterday afternoon. That was pretty cool to see. And then the Coast Guard updated us with some photos as well. I mean, look at all of the stuff they're still bringing up. This is going on all day long. So these cranes with the grapples on the end of them, they're just dredging up stuff like crazy from the bottom there. They're going to have that channel cleared in no time. And then we also got this nice panoramic shot that still shows, I mean, look how many cranes are there. It's just all over the place. Like I mentioned on Friday night, it looks, it looks like the city of Dubai with all of the cranes there when they were building up the, the Dubai about uh, 15 years ago. So then the Unified Command sent out an update to their infographic, which isn't really much different at all from what I showed you on Thursday and Friday night. Basically, you see that green band there. That's the Fort Carroll channel that was opened on Friday, which I had mentioned to you on the video that we had Friday night for you. So everything here is pretty much unchanged from the weekend. So the part that they're working on next is that limited access you see in the black shaded area there. And then it leads up to that little dotted line with the skinny limited access channel. That's what they hope to have done by the end of April, 35 feet deep. And then meanwhile, over at Sparrows Point, those gigantic steel shearing metal cutting machines are going at it like crazy. They're just gobbling up this steel like there's no tomorrow. These guys are definitely eating good today. Oh, and just a reminder, if you're enjoying this video, be sure to watch this other video that I did on the FIU bridge collapse. You will love that one. One of my best ones yet. And then check out this other video here also on how to install laminate flooring in your house because I do all sorts of engineering projects here for you. So thanks for joining us today and we'll see all of you on the next one.